everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another air garden video about cleaning your uh, machine in between plantings. So I just finished growing dwarf cherry tomatoes in my air garden harvest and I'm going to clear it out and put in some new um, lettuces and herbs. Um, I kind of want to keep it, I want to move it back to my kitchen and just have some salad greens every week and some really important herbs that I use all the time. So I figured I'm going to do that this time. Um, the cherry tomatoes were great, but they do take quite a while. And I, I want to try them again, um, but I didn't feel like they gave that much flavor. So anyway, this time around, I'm going to go back to the tried and true herbs, um, since I've been buying a lot from the grocery store anyway. And every time before I start a new planting, I make sure to give the machine a really thorough deep clean. Um, you never know what kind of like particles and just debris is stuck in the machine. So definitely want to clean it out before you stick in new pots. There's two main methods. One, you can just throw it in the dishwasher. It's not that dirty. Uh, for some reason this time, the air garden got pretty gunky inside um, the basin. There's a lot of stains and just like little tiny root particles that have gotten really kind of stuck into the plastic. So I'm going to um, clean it out using distilled vinegar and really make sure that it is 100% sanitized. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, get everything ready, super clean, and uh, I'll walk you through the process and we can do it together. Okay, so we're going to dismantle the arrow garden. It comes apart pretty easily. Uh, first, we're going to clean the grow deck, which is this top uh, white piece. And it's actually made of two parts. Um, so sometimes a lot of dirt and algae or like little bits of roots can get stuck in between the uh, grow deck. So if you flip it to the underside, you'll notice that there's four tabs. There's two on the top and two on the bottom. And if you actually push down on the two tabs and then wiggle the pieces apart, it'll, it'll come apart in two. It takes a little bit of pressure. Um, you can almost feel like you're breaking it because it's like hard plastic and it makes kind of like these screeching sounds, but just make sure to keep pressing down on the tabs and prying apart the two sections and eventually the two pieces will separate. And once it does, you'll notice a whole lot more gunk there than you thought might have been in it. Um, so we do want to clean this out and I just start by hand washing it. Uh, the brown stains are kind of a mix of plant roots and residue from the liquid plant food. So hopefully the stain should come off relatively easily. I just use dish soap, something strong like Dawn that cuts grease um, should be good enough. And I also find that an old toothbrush works really well to get into all the little nooks and crannies. Um, so give it a good scrub and make sure that all the stains are gone. If you have some pretty tough stains, you can even let it soak in a bin of like soapy water overnight um, if it needs some more time. Um, and if you see green stains, that's probably from algae growth. The first time I used the harvest, um, I did it like a fall winter planting and you know, it was pretty cold in the apartment, so I didn't get any algae growth. But then the second round, I planted it in the summer and I noticed a ton of like green, you know, gunky stains. And I think that's because my apartment gets pretty hot in the summer. So if you're seeing a lot of algae residue, then it's probably because the environment um, is, is kind of humid and moist. So you can try like moving it, the air garden into another room or, or putting it, you know, near the AC, something like that. Okay, after a good rinse, you should have a much cleaner grow deck. So put it back together, just kind of snap it back into place. And now we're gonna tackle the stains in the grow bowl. You can use either distilled vinegar or a chlorine bleach and water solution to sanitize the air garden. I usually have vinegar in my pantry, so I'm just gonna use that. Um, and it's also one of the best all natural cleaners and helps prevent and clean up mineral deposits in the garden. So um, I do recommend using distilled vinegar. The only thing is vinegar is very acidic and the first time I cleaned my air garden, I just didn't really realize. Um, so I spilled droplets of the distilled vinegar on my counters and I didn't wipe it off right away. So unfortunately now I have permanent circle shaped like stains on the marble. Um, so I recommend protecting your surface, whether you have a stone counter or not. I just think it's a good idea to like put down some glass protectors and an old towel or an old kitchen rag um, because it makes the cleanup just a bit easier. So now if you use distilled vinegar, you, you'll need five cups of the vinegar solution. Um, and if you go with bleach, you'll want to fill the bowl with water and a quarter cup of chlorine bleach. Thank you. 
So I'm using vinegar here. It's basically the entirety of this one quart bottle. Um, let the machine run. I set a timer for five minutes. You want the aerator, um, the kind of like the mechanism inside the machine to have enough time to circulate the bleach uh, or the vinegar solution throughout the entire air garden. So you should see the water pump gurgling. That's how you know it's working. And you can definitely also smell the vinegar. It's a, it's a very strong um, smell. And then after about five minutes, it should be clean. Empty out the vinegar and rinse out the grow bowl. You can also scrub a bit if there's any like resistant stains, but they should have pretty much come off. Now, just to make sure we get out all the distilled vinegar, we're gonna run a second cycle and this time we'll use just water. So I filled up the harvest with regular tap water and set another timer for five minutes. Again, you wanna just check that the pump is circulating the water throughout the air garden and then that's how you know it's you know, running throughout the entire machine. Then dump everything out and you're all set to begin a new round of planting. So for this third round, I used a mix of leftover air garden pods that I had sitting around as well as my own seeds. I'm gonna do a combination of herbs and lettuces. So things like parsley and basil that I use a lot of when I'm cooking. Um, and also some fun new lettuces that I've never tried, like this pink and yellow cabbage. Um, herbs and lettuces should grow pretty well together. They're both relatively quick uh, germinators, and um, by the time the lettuces are done, the herbs will kind of be uh, full and bushy and, and have enough room to spread out. So I have a video on how to use your own seeds. If that's something you're interested in, you can check out the link in the description box. Um, one tip is to make sure you soak the grow sponge in water if you're going to plant your own seeds. I find that this helps them to germinate a little faster. And then I also labeled everything, um, added the dome caps. These create like a little small like pocket of warm air for um, the baby, baby seeds and they kind of act as like a little greenhouse. And then um, once the plants grow tall enough, you can remove them. So I also have another video on how to actually set up the air garden for the first time. Um, it goes into a lot more detail, but basically the machine does everything for you. Just set the timer let it know what you're planting, and it's very uh, hands-off. And that's it. It was very easy to clean and start a new round of planting, so I hope this video helped. If you have an arrow garden or if you don't have one, um, to kind of show you how simple it is and how you can get many, many months, seasons, years out of one little unit. So you can do the same thing. I did it on the harvest because that's the model I have. Um, I also have a large farm unit, which is like a floor model. Um, that one still has peppers in it, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna clean that one out quite yet. Um, but yeah, this method applies for whatever air garden unit you have. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. One other thing I wanted to mention before I end the video, um, since I'm growing herbs, and if you're watching this, maybe you are as well, uh, this is a really handy little tool that I picked up um, that basically, whether you're growing herbs in your air garden or you're buying herbs from the grocery store, if you need to um, make sure that they last as long as possible in your fridge, put them in one of these little contraptions. So basically, it comes apart like this. Um, you put the herbs in here, so if, for example, like basil kind of grows like a weed and you can have a lot of basil um, at a much higher height than some of your other plants, so you might want to trim the basil and you can store it in this. Uh, make sure the stems are sticking out through the bottom and then you fill this little part of the container with some water, just regular water. You stick it in and you put it in your fridge and it makes your herbs, it allows your herbs to last um, for a really long time. Like if I buy, for example, a bunch of parsley from the grocery store, I can get probably a month out of it with this. Um, whereas if I just put the bag in the fridge, I can really probably only get like a week, maybe a week and a half. So I find this little invention very hip, um, very genius, very helpful. Uh, you could do the same thing with just um, putting the herbs in like a mason jar of water, but uh, that can get a little bit messy in case it falls over or tips in the fridge. So I like this 
little self-contained pot and it was pretty um, affordable too. I will link it in the description box. I just picked it up off Amazon.